Here we have a satellite locator, so that'll help us uh, once the balloon and the capsule land back on the Earth. Uh, this will send out a signal that lets us know where the balloon and the capsule actually are located. Uh, right here is our spot for the GoPro, which we're going to use to take a picture of the Grand Creighton Junior High logo, uh, which is right here. So that's just within the field of view of the GoPro. So we're going to get a picture of that with the curvature of the Earth should be pretty cool. And then right in this spot here, we're going to insert a Raspberry Pi, which is a type of computer that's very small. Um, and we're going to hook that up to a temperature sensor so we can detect what the temperature is when the capsule is rising uh, up through the atmosphere of the Earth. So it's going to go up to about 100,000 feet. And the goal of it was to get a picture of the curvature of the Earth, the blackness of space, and the Graham Creighton logo in front of it so that Graham Creighton went to space. These are our hand warmers that we're going to put in the capsule to keep the batteries warm. This is the parachute for when the balloon pops later on. This will help it not uh, fall so fast and potentially damage the capsule and everything inside. Hooking in the Wi-Fi up to my phone so that when it takes pictures, I can get them on my phone. You can see the pictures as it's going up today? Yeah, I could watch it go up. Oh, this is the letter for if we don't find the balloon. Dear Finder, if you're reading this, it is because a Graham Creighton Junior High Geo class located in Cherry Brook, Nova Scotia, launched a balloon into the atmosphere on June 2nd, 2017, and have never found it. I was working on the temperature sensor, so I had to do, uh, I had learned some wiring, I had to learn some coding, and uh, it was a pretty cool experience, yeah. My main role was to find out if there was how to launch the balloon by watching other launch videos. GoPro is plugged in. Can you GoPro check that? GoPro is plugged in, yes. Okay, is the satellite secured? The satellite locator is secured, yes. If you touch it a little bit, it's not going to move around. Sure. It's not going to move. All right, guys, we're going to fill up the balloon. It's going to take some time. Okay, so here we go. The whole point of this project was for me not to do it. I said, you're doing it. I will guide you, but I'm not doing this project. So they said, well, we need helium. And I said, okay. I'll pay for it, you have to find it. Well, here he came up to me and said, here's the number. And I said, okay, we'll call, and his face turned white. He did call, and then he had to make a third, a fourth, and a fifth call, and it was like he was never nervous doing it the third and fourth time. There's a skill, it's like almost like the hidden curriculum that we're hitting there, these things that aren't outcomes, but that was an amazing thing. But in terms of outcomes, there's just so many that we're hitting, it's so cross-curricular, in terms of working as a team, the English writing component of it, writing all the proposals, the, the sponsors team, the letter that was in the capsule, uh, and then the science component was just unreal. The math component was huge, trying to find out the volume of that balloon and just everything involved. We have a satellite locator on there that's gonna track it for about 50,000 feet. Once it gets back above 50,000 feet, we lose it. Comes back down, balloon's gonna explode. It's gonna come back down into the parachute and it will land somewhere around Truro to Picta County. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. When we go get it, hopefully, we get a, a signal telling us that's where it is. We'll go get it, we'll open it up, we'll take the SD card out, we'll look at the video. Together as a class, we were planning on bringing the whole school down, doing kind of like a reveal party, showing them what we got, and uh, having some fun with that. So this project made me think that I would like to be an engineer one day. It felt great it, that I know that we can all successfully do something on our own without help of anybody else. I'm really into things that fly, so it's tied into that, so I really like it. It's not something you would ever think you'd do in school. You'd go to school, you think you you know sit in the classroom and just learn about things like this maybe, but you never think you'd actually do something like this. So it's it's pretty cool. 